What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Vault Pro Scooters. My name is Austin and today you guys are joining me for the 19th custom scooter build off. It is the end of October, which means Halloween is right around the corner, which means this is going to be the Halloween special. As you guys can tell from the set, we're in character. It is spooky season and I'm very excited for this video. Before I introduce the second contestant, I have to introduce the first contestant, which is no other than the current champion of the Halloween build offs, Andy Peterson. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm glad to be back. Feels good to be back in here. I already took the dub on Matisse, so it's just, it's gotta do the same thing. Do you still have the hot dog costume? It's in my closet, yeah. You should've uh, wiped the dust off and brought it in. <laughs> I wear it occasionally, you know, when my clothes are dirty. Yeah. It's back up. I hope you came in today with that same mindset, man, because we got a pretty good contestant for you today. You're gonna be going head to head and you, you took the dub once. I don't know if you can take the dub twice. Oh, I can, I know I can. All right, he's confident. I'm not worried. All right, let's bring in contestant number two, Mia Catalano. What's going on, guys? Ah, uh, welcome. All right. Um, Dang, the tension. Andy, you're not even going to shake her hand? No. Why? She can shake my hand when I win. <laughs> <laughs> the tension is rising. Well, Mia, welcome. Custom build-off. Have you ever done a build-off? Never done a build-off. You understand what a build-off yes, is, right? Yes, yes. All right, cool. Well, you're going to build a scooter, and Andy's going to build a scooter, and the lovely people watching are going to be the ones to judge whose scooter they like the most. So, <laughs> this is Halloween, boys and girls. Andy's familiar with uh, these Halloween build-offs. I don't know if you are, but we got some costumes for you guys. Veteran right here. Hey, I did some research. Oh, huh? all right. What'd you think? Did you watch the last one? A little bit. What'd you think of Andy's build? I mean, it was so bad, I couldn't, I couldn't watch it for too long. Uh-huh. <laughs> No, she told me she did research. She's like, oh, I watched all the custom builds. And I was like, did you watch the last one? She's like, what? So, I'm, ner I'm nervous. I feel like- Oh my God. <laughs> the last one, I feel like I got the better costume. I'm really, I'm really hoping that I get the better one this time too. I have no idea what to expect. All right, well, I have a box here. This one's labeled Andy. This one's labeled Mia. It's time for you guys to open it up. Who wants to go first? She can go first. Ladies first? Okay. All right, Mia, open up your box. You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, I'm so excited for this. So great for An me. An alien? There's another thing in your box too. Okay. Oh. Oh, gotta open it. You got the fresh acrylics on, you got this. Yeah. It's gonna be some, some custom grip. Oh shit. that is so sick. That's sick. That's actually really sick. So we have some custom grip tape here from our boss's sister, Sarah. Shout out to Sarah. Her Instagram will be down below if you guys wanna show her some love. She hand painted this one and the one that Andy's gonna be using. So shout out to her just to make it a little bit more Halloween themed. So you guys are gonna be wearing your costumes and you have to base your build around your grip tape. Okay. So, okay. It'll hey. It'll be good, it'll be good. I, this, this is sick, so. Yeah, Andy, you're up. I'm just hoping that, you know, last time in the, in the Matisse video, he got the pumpkin and I did the skeleton. So I'm hoping that, oh no. <laughs> you're kidding. Comes <laughs> <laughs> with gloves and everything. Oh, let's go. If you guys don't remember, I did my own custom grip tape last year. That's why it was so bad. Yeah, I won, so. <laughs> oh. Nice. Skeleton. That's a dub. No, this is cool though. Yeah. I don't know. Mine was pretty cool last time, so. Yeah, whatever you say. So those are their costumes with a little movie magic. Let's get everybody in their costumes and ready to go. Alrighty, so we are back and we have both of our contestants in their lovely costumes. How you guys feel it? I feel like poop. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Do you like this better than the hot dog? No. It makes sense though, because this comes after the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I hate I'm, in, you. I'm in the process. This, this was the hot dog. <laughs> hey, knock knock. Who's there? Poop. Poo poo. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> poo poo. All right, that's enough about Andy. Yeah. Mia, how you feeling in your costume? Um, it's a little hot in here. Not gonna lie, but is this your man's? <laughs> he is my man. <laughs> Yo, my homie's out of this world. <laughs> Your costume's honestly my favorite out of all of them. Apologies for you guys watching at home. You're gonna hear a lot of scrunching and noises coming from her suit, but just bear with it because look how sick her costume is. Might hear a lot of farts from mine. <laughs> All right, so now you guys are both in your costumes. You guys have your grip tape. You guys have to base your builds around the grip tape, okay? So you have black and white, you have orange and white. These are, you know, it's Halloween. So your scooter's gotta be Halloween themed. Got it? Halloween themed, got it. Got it? Got it. Can I add any other colors? Yeah, it just has to be Halloween themed. Okay. And around the grip tape. We gotta distinguish who goes first here. How are we doing it again? You just wanna let ladies go first? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yes. You, see, you don't seem like you're hyped about that. Well, I, I won, so I feel like I should go first, but whatever, you can go. <laughs> Alrighty, so Mia, you're up first. Let's go into the warehouse. Let's start picking out your parts. Alright, let's do it. 
Okay, Mia, we're back. We're in the warehouse. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. The air is starting to get to me, so I'm feeling better. We're not trapped in that hot yeah. studio. All right, cool. We'll show the audience your grip tape one more time. This is what you're going off of, right? Yeah, you're building. It's sick. Do you have any idea what you're doing? I mean, it's orange, so I feel like limited parts. I think it'll be fine. Well, let's start picking out your parts. Where do you want to start? Um, let's start with the deck. I definitely want to use an ethic deck. Why an ethic deck? Because I just started writing an ethic deck and I absolutely love it. So. All right, fair enough. Let's do Linworm V3 if I can find it. You got it, me, I okay. believe. Okay, so right now I'm writing the Vulcan, which is my first box deck, and I absolutely have loved it. I thought it was going to set me back, but it hasn't, and I've started to ride rails more, so that's been fun. Well, how is this deck going to tie into your Halloween theme is my question, but... Well, it's black, so it leaves room. It leaves a lot of room. Touche. All right, okay. moving on. Okay, you got your deck. You're going to have to add some orange into this yeah. somehow. Look at these orange north bars you could use. I'm telling you, those north bars are pretty sick. It's Halloween. Think about it. Trust me, I know what I'm doing, okay? Look at it. Those are pretty Halloween. Yeah, those are pretty fire. This is actually a really nice orange. I'm telling you, those are the move. Let's look in the front of the store. I like this fork. The versatile fork? Mm -hmm, yep, yeah, let's run that. No matter which bars I use, I want that. Okay, so I found this fork. We're gonna run this fork. You wanna run an ethic Sylph clamp? Yeah. The lightest clamp? Yeah, lightest clamp, best clamp. For my grips, I'm gonna go with the black ethic grips. We yes. gotta do wheels. What if you use these orange Tanner Fox wheels? Oh. You have a crush on Tanner Fox? Tell us right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do the we'll do the NV S3 wheels. In black. They look like a star. Yeah, they're pretty sick. So Mia, you have wheels now. You still need to pick out a headset. Um, Prime headset. I don't even know where it is. You did see one in the front? Yeah, I did. I don't know where Austin went. Okay. Uh, okay, we got it. We got the Prime headset. Now, I... I think that's everything. Yeah, you're good. All right. Well, Mia, those are yeah. all your parts. We got all our parts. Now we're going back to the studio. What's up, guys? We're back in the studio. These are my parts. I'm really hyped with how it looks right now, and I'm excited to see what it's going to be when it's built. Also, my costume. I just looked at myself in the mirror for the first time. I look great, obviously. So let's get to building. I'm going to start out with the grip tape, and I'm going to take off the brake, which is something that I've never done before. But there's a first for everything. So this grip tape is actually so sick. So I'm really, really hyped for this. I wonder how Andy's gonna do because you know he just sucks at everything he does and he has the worst style so like imagine his scooter Austin <laughs> thank you this is so difficult to like move also if you've seen my other custom builds you know I'm not the best at building my scooter because I make him do it for me but I'm better than Dante and I think I can get this done what a guy what a guy maybe if I worked here I would know what I was doing I'm just gonna get it like Cut, and then you can clean it up. I know my alien is just all over this. Ah, uh, boom, that's how it's done, obviously. Okay, I got it. Boom. What are your plans for Halloween, Mia? My plans for Halloween, I'm going to the Northern Undialed AZ Grind to the Boo Jam. And let's have Austin come back and help me. Sitting on the table? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sitting on the table. So I know Andy has the skeleton grip tape, which honestly, I, I don't know what he's going to do because black and white gives him so much room to do literally anything. I'm assuming it's going to be a lot of black and white, though. Look how small my legs are. These bars, are, I'm going to have to get the bars cut. They're too tall for me. Precision. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh my God. Scream is coming out soon. The new Scream. Comment down below what your favorite Halloween movie is. Your grip tape is done. Yeah, my grip tape looks awesome, thank you. Look how good that looks. Done by a professional. Thanks, Austin. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the back wheel on. This costume is like impossible. And every time I move, I just feel air coming out of it. Austin. Yeah, I honestly have no idea how these spacers work. So Austin is doing it for me and he'll be back for the grips. Don't worry, he'll be back. You wanna, how, do, how do you fix it? How old are you? There you go. It's not doing anything. It's a long hold, guys. 
Stop doing the arm. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm gonna put the brake back on it. I'm really excited to see how Andy's build came out and how this is gonna look once it's done. Okay, brakes on, back wheel is done. Now let's get the fork. Okay, got our fork on. Okay. And now our prime. Headset. Now we're gonna put some grease on this, which I also never do. All right, now we got the fork on. I'm really liking how the red accents and the white as well on the deck with the grip tape. So now I'm gonna put the front wheel on. Okay, got it. Got it. No need to worry. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, so far I'm really loving the way it's looking and I think the bars are gonna look really good with the fork and the grip tape. Now I'm gonna have Austin put my grips on. I have no idea how to do this. I've done three, this is my third custom build. Still haven't learned or have ever done it on my scooter. So that's why we're bringing Austin back. I think it's like the thickest grips too. Mm -hmm. I like the grips. Okay, now we have the grips on and it looks so good. I like thick grips, which ethic grips are really thick, so that's a personal preference, but I'm sure you'll like them too. <laughs> now the second one. After I fell in uh, Barcelona, a lot of people asked me if I was still gonna scooter or if I was gonna quit, or like what my plans were after that. And I'm definitely not quitting. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. I took a long enough break before, and I don't think that I'm ever gonna do that again, to be honest, so no need to worry. Okay, that one was way easier. Yay, we did it. Now, the lightest clamp, the ethic clamp. We got it. And just make sure that it's straight. Also, I feel like it should be noted that it's 10 times harder to build a scooter when you can barely keep your arms in front of you or hold anything close to your body. Now let's tighten up the clamp. Also, Andy used to work here, so he can build a scooter better than me. So I feel like I should not be judged based off of that. And this looks so good. I love these oranges. I'm not a big fan of orange, but I really love the way that this turned out. And of course, the grip tape. It looks so sick. Shout out to Sarah again for making these because they're so good. She's so talented. So honestly, I think I won, but I'm really excited to see what Andy has. So let's check it out. Alrighty, so we are back. We got Andy Peterson here. Mia just finished, so it is time for Andy to pick his. How are you feeling? I'm not. I'm not really feeling anything, to be honest. I I have no clue what I'm gonna do, but we're just gonna roll with it. And you have no idea what you're zero doing. Zero clue. You got the grip tape. Let's pick out the rest of your parts. Where let's do you wanna do start? It. Uh oh, decks right here, right here. Oh, dude, let's do the district deck. Let's do the let's do the district deck. That could be cool. The district mythos. Or I would have used the tilt brain drain deck, dude. Brain drain. Brain drain's like a spooky, like you know. Yeah, different different color scheme though. All right. Don't, don't tell me what to do. This is my build. I mean. The district deck is, is really, really wide, but it, it's like a lot of park riders, right? District. I don't want to do tie bars. So let's do those. Is this raw? Are these raw? Mm hmm Look at the photo. <laughs> let's do these bars. Why is your shirt riding up like you have a tank top on? You ever seen a turd this buff, dude? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, let's do clamp. Let's do the clamp since we're right here. So I got raw. I did say I want to throw in a little bit of purple because on my way over here, I knew it was for Halloween and I was kind of thinking of like witches, you know? Like, hey. Dude, the native lilac? Yeah, let's do that. That's like a, a light purple, but there's the matching fork in the front too. Oh Ooh. yeah, that's sick. Let's, let's use that. Are you gonna use the fork too? Yeah, I'll probably use the fork too. Okay, let's go grab the fork. Perfect. Let's do it. The wheels I probably want to stick with like black and white. These are kind of sick, the uh, Trinity oh. wheels. These are like Halloween themed. Yeah, they are. You make me second guess my purple. Nah, do it. Yeah, so that was, that was cool. Let's do this. What if you cut out the skeleton and put him behind some white spider webs? Oh, that could be cool. All right, I think just... the spider web cut out would be fire. Yeah, let's do it. We just need grips. Let's go get some grips. Oh, we need a headset. We just have like a black... 
Black Velocity headset, go to. Do we have the native grips? Do we have any emblems? Let's go look in the front real quick, Cody. Last pair. I'm stoked. Let's do it. That's everything. Let's just get back in the studio and build it. I want to see how this thing turns out. All right, well, we got all the parts laid out, guys. And I got to be honest, this is looking super, super sick. Now, I know that I was supposed to do like the skeleton vibe, but I want to throw a little, little touch of color in there, not just black and white. Because last year, I did just black and white. It looks sick, but I don't want to go over everything again. Make the same build twice, you know? I know that mine's going to look better than me is regardless. So I didn't really have to put much effort into it. So, you know, I did some fun. Sarah did this grip tape and I actually went and cut it up. You did an amazing job. I just want to add my own little twist onto it. My little twist is we're going to be tossing that skeleton right in the middle of this cutout spider web. And I think that that's where we should start because I think this is going to look sick. Let's just get everything out of the way here and get started on the grip tape. I don't know how this brake comes off, but we're going to figure out together. Sorry about that. The uh, microphone died, so we might have a few seconds of cut audio there, but we're back. We're still trying to get this grip tape on. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this to be aligned correctly. That's what I'm worried about right now. Probably run, run one of these guys. A little line here and a little line here. We are going to get this here. Boom. It's pretty solid. I don't know if we have a grip tape roller, but we'll get it done regardless. Let me try to get no air bubbles in here. I think I'm going to finish this part of the grip tape and then I'm going to then I'm going to continue with the rest of it. Putting that skull on. Get all this excess off real quick. I normally don't like gripping clear grip tape because it's a little bit frustrating. And I'll tell you what, it's even more frustrating with a giant poop suit on because this is it's in your way and it's not fun. This is the things we do here at the vault for you guys. All right, that's solid. I'm I'm stoked to see Mia's actually because the pumpkins the pumpkins hard to match. I bet Mia got some good stuff. I don't know what's out now that wasn't out last year. It's gonna be interesting though. S score this guy. <laughs> There it is. This is trash. Nice. That was good. Left-handed, by the way. I'm right-handed. Let's go. I'm pretty sure that Mia has only been in, like, custom builds. I don't think she's ever been in a build... Any build offs? So this is her first one. That should be. That should be nice. It's just a bummer that she has to lose on her first one, but happens. Not my fault. Okay. So this is where it gets a little tricky with these decks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut along the inside of this ridge all the way up to about here on both sides. That will give you access to that little area. You can just cut across here. Rip that. It's not gonna matter. Then you can just push these guys down. Boom. Now we're in. Let's see. That's solid. Okay, happy with that. I absolutely hate these tiny razor blades. <sighs> Such a pain. It hurts my fingies. Cross. Boom. Now, if this is correct, should just peel up. Get that off of there. Peel that off. Boom. Now is the tricky part of the grip tape. It's getting that skull in there correctly. Let's see. I always do this to myself with the grip tape cutouts. And one of these I'm just bound to mess up, knock on wood. But I'll tell you what, it's not going to be this one. This one's going to look sick. Let's go. It's going to go right in there. Okay, let's see. I think I'm pretty happy with that right there. That looks so sick. I am super happy with that. Let's move on. Let's get the rest of this thing built up. Oh, we're gonna have to put the brake in. Maybe it'll slide back in nice and easy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. Literally like nothing. It's getting so hot in this thing. Whew. I'm struggling. You can't see it, but I'm struggling. Trinity wheel. North X Trinity. I think these are super sick. I think the colors will go well with what we're doing here. And then it comes with a little, little washer. You're gonna put in there. Put that on there. 
drop this guy in. As most decks are nowadays, this is only one tool necessary, so once you get it started, the nut holds itself, and you can just go. You only need one tool. It's amazing. Extra tighten there for you. Okay. Headset. The goods. The required goods. Pre-greased bowl in the back, so which is pretty nice. You didn't need it then, but in the headset cuffs, you can never skip it. Once you have it tattooed on you, you can't. You can't not do it. Get this nice and greasy. Take our VersaFork, slide that bottom crown race. We're gonna try to get this to not hit any grease on the way up. We got a little bit, that's okay though. Get the top half of the headset, slide it right over, and you're all set, that's it. I think that's actually missing a piece. I think that's that piece right there. So don't listen to me. I, I wanna see, I wanna watch Mia build, do you see how she builds it in that costume? Cause this is tough and I have like, full arm movement, but she has like something in front of her. That's gonna, that's gonna be funny. Next is the SES. These do look like they have grease on them, so we're not gonna have to take them out. This is the native Orca SES in the lavender color. Coolest color on the market, in my opinion. So far, people have asked me why I'm doing purple, and I, I, I make sense in my head. Now, I kind of associate purple with like Halloween, but I guess not everyone does. Purple's like a Halloween color, I feel like. You know, like purple and green, and like orange and black. I feel like it's it's a Halloween color. That's all good to go. We're just gonna throw this front wheel on. We're almost we're almost done here. Just gotta get the bars and grips thrown on. Once the grips go on, I think the whole thing is gonna really tie together. This is gonna probably one of my favorite builds so far. Just hoping you guys think so too. The other one should just slide in. It can be tricky a little bit sometimes, but we're good. Know how to handle things out here. Slide this guy in, grease the bolts. Always. This front wheel on there nice and tight. This scooter is gonna be mad dialed too, especially with the way district sounds. It's gonna sound really good is what I'm saying. It's gonna sound awesome. But we're gonna get these bars thrown on. Oversized bars do not need the extra shim. Drop it on the table, finish it up here. This looks so sick. And the deck size, it's on the bigger side, but it is fairly light. And the Civic T-bars are actually, they're a steel bar, but they are super thin, so they're really, really light. They're not quite as light as like aluminum or titanium, but they're certainly close to it. And this scooter is gonna be very, very light overall in comparison to other scooters of this size. I think it's gonna be perfect if you wanna do either park or street, a few bigger guys out there like me who like to do both of those. Like to ride everything. Bars are on. Scoot's super light, like I was saying. You get these grips thrown on. This is gonna be the finishing touch, in my opinion. These grips are very easy to put on, so you won't probably, probably won't need a whole lot of air, but could be wrong. I might just be dumb. Yeah, super easy. Very malleable. Get the other guy on there. Got some air. Gonna get, get finished this. Getting this grip on in here. I figure we rock with the stock native barns because they're actually pretty good. They look nice. You can go with the build. But some silver ones would be cool if you guys purchased this scoot. Never want to upgrade some barns. Some raw barns would be super tight. But I think that black on top really ties in the rest of that little black accents on the scoot. Not, that's it. We're done. Hey, this looks so good. Oh, we're not done. We got some stickers to put on. I think we're going to drop them right here on top of the bar. I got some undialed stickers. Cut them out. And they actually go with the color scheme here. I think it's going to look pretty cool. Add a little bit of my own touch to it. All right, we got an O. We got another O here, and then we got one more letter. It's gonna go with the Halloween theme here. That's gonna be B. I think that ties in really well. I'm super stoked. With the boo right there too, scared ya? Drop a like if you were spooked. I think the grip tape is the main piece for sure though. It looks, looks sick. Sarah killed this. I hope it's okay with her that I added my own little touch, but gotta do what you gotta do. All right guys, well, that's my build. I'm stoked on it. Let's see what Mia did. Alrighty, so as you guys can tell, I have both of the contestants behind me with the opposite person's scooter in front of them. On the count of three, I'm gonna have them turn around. They haven't seen what they look like, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. So, are you guys ready? Yep. All right. Three, two, one, turn around.
Sorry. This looks good. <laughs> this looks really good. You know I'm a fan of purple. This looks fire. I feel like maybe somebody lucked out with getting white grip tape, but whatever. It's fine. This orange matches really well, actually. Things you don't like. Things I don't like. Andy built it. I feel like that's just easier to go off of white. You can use any color you want. Mine is more Halloween themed, so, which is the point of the build. See, I remember these things. Yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. All right, Andy, you are up. Okay. Well, it matches. It matches really well. No, it looks really good. The parts are pretty solid. You know, I feel like you're complaining about the whole color scheme thing, but like you already had orange here, so you didn't really need to put any color anywhere else. Not really an excuse in my book. No, this looks good though. I know you don't do a whole lot of like, build so this is pretty solid i like the walter sticker kind of matches there the undialed sticker looks cool didn't even acknowledge my six sticker by the way pretty spooky on there so yeah <laughs> overall it's pretty solid i don't really have many critiques other than the fact that i'm just trying to think of some maybe the clamp is on upside down that's pretty good it's pretty solid it's pretty good Alrighty, so that's a wrap for the building process of Build Off number 19. Mia killed it, Andy killed it, but it is time to pass this on over to you guys. By the time this video actually comes out, you guys will already know who won because voting actually came out about a week ago. About a week ago. So let's fast forward a week and find out who won. Alrighty guys, so it has been a week and we officially have a winner of the 19th custom build off. But before I show you guys percentages and numbers, the winner has a few words that they want to say to you themselves. Hey guys, just found out that I won the custom build off and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who voted. I'm so stoked that you guys liked the scooter and I'm really stoked the way it came out. This is my first custom build off. Granted it was against Andy, so it's pretty easy, don't know what he was expecting, but walking away with a dub for my first one, super happy about it, and I wanted to make sure that you guys know I'm so grateful for you, and thank you for voting. Alrighty, so as you guys can tell from that video, Mia Catalano is the official winner of the 19th custom build-off, and she took Andy out. Andy was the reigning champ of the Halloween build-offs, and unfortunately, he has been dethroned, and Mia holds that crown, and I'm really curious if Mia's gonna hold her spot at the top for long. Alrighty, so, percentage-wise, Andy, with the purple and raw scooter and the skeleton grip tape came in with 41% of the votes and Mia with the orange and black scooter with the scream slash pumpkin grip tape came in with 59% of the votes so based off of the percentages I mean you guys absolutely love Mia's scooter I'm not gonna lie if I had to pick one I would have picked for Andy's but that's that's just me that brings us to the end of this video if you guys enjoyed custom build off number 19 please let us know by hitting that like button down below hitting that like button actually just lets the YouTube algorithm know that we're doing a good job so if you guys want to see more videos from us like this make sure to hit that like button and drop a comment because it does a lot more than you guys think. Make sure to check out the Volpro scooters on all the social medias. Make sure to shop at thevolproscooters.com for all your scooter needs. And until the next video, have a good one.